Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can work with SQL create view statement to create a view. So what is a view? A view in SQL is basically a virtual table which is based on the result set of an SQL statement. So if you want to show or present a specific data from your database or table, you can use a view. A view basically contains rows and columns that is part of your records. Okay. The fields in a view are basically fields from one of your tables only as I told you before. So you can present a data in a more readable form using view. So to create a view, we use the create view statement in SQL. So let us see an example here in we have Amit DB database you can see and our employee table. Let us enter the database using the use command use space database name that is Amit DB is our database here execute and you can see successful. Now let us enter our table. Now let us see the records of our table. Select star from employee. Select it and click on execute. Now here you can see our record is having ID, employee ID, employee name, employee city and employee salary. Now let's say we need to create a view for employees with city ABC. That is the employees, that is employees living in city ABC. So that would be the first one and the last one. How we can fetch a view for it? Let us create a view. Create views the command. Let us add the name of our view. Let's say employees. ABC we can write. Use the alias as. Now use the select command. So we wanted employee name and city. So EMP name and city from mention the table name that is our employee okay where city is abc okay now we have created a view okay semicolon selected and click on execute commands completed now to display use the same select star Okay, in that in this case, we will be using select star from our view name because we want to get the view. I'll just copy this to ease. Okay, so I'll just select a semicolon. I just select, I'll just select and click on execute. Here you can see both the records are visible. This is what we wanted for city ABC. Okay, now let's say I'll just copy this again. Let's say we want, let's say we want to create another view with salary. Let's view the records again, select star from employee. Let's say we are viewing records with salary greater than 7000. Okay. So what we will do? Let's write salary above 7000. Okay. What we want to display, we want to display, let's say, the employee name and city, let's say it's fine. We can also display salary also that are above 7000 from employee table, wherein. So, what condition we need to mention? We need to mention under view, wherein salary is greater than 7000. Okay. This looks fine. I'll select it. We have a new view now. Execute command completed now to display it. I hope you remember it's select star from your view name that is the following. It will come on its own. You can see salary above 7000. That's it. Semicolon select and that's it. So we have all the records of employee with salary greater than 7000. Okay, guys, this is what we displayed using a view. So we created a view now. Now we will see how we can remove. So now we have two views here in first, second, both. Okay. Now let's say we need to remove the employees ABC view. How we can remove it? For that guys, use the drop view command. Write drop view and the view name. That's it. So our view name was here it is employee ABC select and execute. So you can see commands completed successfully. Now if you will try to display it 
nothing will be visible okay then you can see you can see invalid object name okay so this is what i told you we have dropped this view so guys in this video we saw what are views in sql we also saw how we can create a view as well as how we can drop a view so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things